Hi Cam and Nancy, here is our Untold Edition Mini Cooper S Clubman in sage green metallic. As you can see, everything about this Clubman is distinctive. The grill surround, the unique bonnet stripe that goes all the way up on the rooftop, body color roof. The wheels are striking in person, look at that. Unreal. You will never see another one like this. The upholstery is actually untold upholstery. <laughs> but you can see the different pattern here of the leather with the cloth. It accentuates really well in the cabin. Here is the interior. You can see the gauges are definitely gonna be different from the Countryman that we just looked at. So you have the Napa leather steering wheel that's been upgraded. You have the flat panel display uh, just behind the steering wheel. Still have the 8.8 inch touchscreen, but now you've got different menus instead of that circular pattern. They're movable live widgets. And again, there are the gold accents inside, the unique dash surface. Uh, this is the only way that you can get this Clubman, the way you see it here. So this will be literally the last one available for some time as well. There are the rear vents again with the USB-C's. Headliner is actually anthracite on this versus the light gray that you saw in the 19 Countryman. And again, look at the gold lettering on the clubman in the back, piano black accents everywhere else. You're able to kick under to open up those barn doors. Kick under again. And you have that flat load floor panel here that you can lift up, close, compartment cover here. There's a look inside. And again, there is that unique bonnet stripe that goes all the way up on top of the roof, all the way back to the spoiler. Really, really good looking. Uh, much more so in person than you saw in any of the pictures. Look inside again there. You can even see the stainless skid plate is also having that gold hue. Even the markings on the seat there, the little gold. Everything is intertwined with the many. All the patterns match, if you will. And then inside again. Switch gear and all that's pretty much the same. You still have the two position memory seats, but again, much updated steering wheel here. Telemetry has been vastly improved with a full color display. The head up display will work exactly the same as before. And let me just show you inside the way this moves here with the movable live widgets. I can open up, go back to the home again. Instead of that circular pattern, now you have left to right. So you have a total of six widgets. If you put in your CarPlay, it's another widget. The other thing, the CarPlay on this is a full screen of CarPlay versus about two thirds on the 19. You also have lane departure warning in addition to the pedestrian warning and frontal collision warning with brake intervention during daylight hours. This also has the auto dimming mirror, but now it also has compass and the home link. So this one is fully loaded, if you will. It even has parking assistant package. So literally the front parking sensors, it will parallel park itself with uh, the aid of you putting it in reverse and forward. Uh, it'll steer itself, if you will. You can see the shifter is completely different now. It stays stationary, park is here versus literally moving the entire shifter. Controls other than that are very similar. The room inside is very close, very close, but this is gonna be the same height as a four door or two door hardtop, just significantly wider and longer. And the stowage is actually better in this than it is in the Countryman. This also has the roof rails as well. So you have a lot of versatility, but again, give a good look at those wheels. Even the side cladding is also in that sage shade, if you will, it's not black. A lot of uniquenesses. Again, any questions on this, please let me know. And thank you both so much again.